neonatal mortality remains a key issue of public health in Kenya, with approximately 180,000 babies born prematurely every year. In many places in the country, care for such small babies is predominantly hospital-based and depends on the use of incubators, which are in short supply. This is where Kangaroo Mother Care, or KMC, can make a difference. In 2016, Save the Children and BBC Media Action, together with the Bungoma County Health Department, partnered in an initiative to increase access to quality care for preterm and low birth weight babies through KMC. My name is Gladys Wanjala. I am the head nurse at Siboti Model Health Center. KMC is a procedure that encourages at least 18 hours of skin-to-skin -skin contact between caregivers and preterm or low birth weight babies. This procedure provides the babies with the necessary warmth they need to help them grow. Most of our admissions mainly are preterm and low birth weight babies. And when we look at the ratio or the percentage of preterm births in Bungoma is quite high because most of our mothers here, they have twin deliveries. Majority of them being preterm. I got pregnant while I was in school. It wasn't good, but I decided to keep the pregnancy. I gave birth at seven months and he weighed 1.9 kilograms. He's now grown, playful and active. His name is Alan. Specifically about the kangaroo mother care, which is commonly referred to as the KMC project, Research was significant at the formative level because it provided an opportunity for us to critically understand the issues around KMC and reasons why there was low access to health facilities in Bungoma County. The doctor told us that since the child was delivered preterm, we were to tie the baby skin to skin with the mother or myself so that the baby would get the required warmth to grow. It's only that I have a lot to do, but in the evening, I come home, refresh, and tie the baby to my chest. Through this project, men, caregivers, and family members are encouraged to support mothers in practicing kangaroo mother care. The kangaroo mother care project was implemented at two levels. One was the capacity building element with our radio stations. We worked with the Nyota FM. In this aspect, uh, BBC Media Action broadcast mentors work with the uh, Yota FM to build the capacity of the station. These broadcast mentors trained journalists at Nyota FM on the production of an informative and entertaining radio drama. Our partnership with the BBC Media Action was about uh, kangaroo mother care, uh, in which we were airing a program that uh, we named the, 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 the drama Gozi Kwa Ngozi. Oh, the aim of the drama was to educate the community in a very simple but acceptable way to simplify the information around KMC. After listening to the first two episodes, the listeners have mastered the words. Whenever they are sitting, you'll find them reciting the drama like the actors. They really like it and it also saves time. The second approach was to develop a toolkit, a media toolkit. This was a radio using a lifeline uh, radio. <laughs> what we call a radio listener group. Here they came up with a radio, and in the radio they have episodes, drama that is acted, where uh, people can listen to what is happening, you know, and then after which they are able to evaluate, to see what is it all about. And this is actually all about KMC. Health workers are equipped with a multimedia toolkit to engage with communities. The kit consists of key cards with maternal and child nutrition information and a wind-up and solar-powered radio with uploaded episodes of the Ngozi Kwangozi radio drama. Recently, we have a 
Na. Recently, I had a training with BBC Media Action in collaboration with Save the Children and Ministry of Health. They gave us a radio and a set of key cards with information that helps us to educate pregnant mothers. The, flip cards in the way the flip cards are designed helps a mother to easily understand because of the illustrations and examples. Mothers who have successfully practiced KMC become champions and support other mothers of preterm and low birth weight babies in their villages. Come a champion. As a champion, in the event of someone delivering a preterm baby, the nurse at the facility calls me to go to the family and explain to the mother all about KMC with my baby as an example. The, the essence of the whole project was to enable women, enable the community, enable you know, better support systems for the so-called kangaroo children so that um, we are able to save more lives as opposed to the traditional approach where such children would uh, be left to die off. Already uh, groups have been formed and people out there are now getting information out in the villages, getting information about KMC. And I want to believe in a very short while, I think that information will have spread to so many other people. We are given two toolkits, one for me as a community worker and one for the volunteer. I have rolled down the knowledge to 70 volunteers out of 280 in my unit. It would be good if we could have a toolkit per KMC facility for a greater impact. This project has really helped us. Our babies are now in good shape and we are grateful. Kangaroo Mother Care saves lives. Kangaroo Mother Care saves lives. It reduces infant deaths and is an important procedure in saving preterm and low birth weight babies. Through KMC, I feel proud to know that as a facility, we save the lives of many babies.